So good morning everybody. Um, uh, today we are at Burnham-on-Sea um, and I'm here to photograph something called the Low Lighthouse which uh, I'll just turn around. You can just see over here somewhere. Yeah, hopefully you saw it then. Um, yeah, uh, we drove down, it's about I don't know, three hours, three and a half hour drive from Portsmouth, something like that. Set off about seven o'clock this morning. Um, I've met up with Steve Staines, Stan, as you may know him. If you don't, then uh, look him up on YouTube. Um, yeah, so you know, we've just come down here for the day. We're gonna try and get some photographs at high tide, um, which is about to come in now, apparently. Um, and then um, I'm here tonight for sunset. So. Um, yeah, a day in Burnham-on-Sea should be quite nice. All right, so I'm going to find out where I'm going to go, set myself up, and then I'll come back to you. So I'll speak to you in a bit, guys. Thank you. It would seem I failed to turn the microphone system on at this point. So um, what I was trying to do was just explain that we had tipped up on the beach and Steve had taken a walk down to the seafront to talk to one of the fishermen to ask him what time high tide was um, and we were told at that point that that was high tide so um, there was no water around the pillars and um, so unfortunately we were unable to get the photographs that we had hoped for at that time of day um, what we did was we took what photographs we could and I was explaining that we were going to do that and then we were going to go and photograph a shipwreck um, so uh, what I'll do is share with you the photographs that I took at this particular time and then when it reconvenes you'll see that we are at the shipwreck. Okay, uh, my apologies for the uh, error on my part. I hope you enjoy the photographs. I've come up on the bank. Um, that was some struggle, I'll tell you. I've had to leave my bag down there with with other stuff because I just couldn't get up. But anyway, besides the point, F8 ISO 200, and that's a thousandth of a second. I've done it so quick because I've come up on the bank and, and I'm trying to photograph, you know, with, with these in the picture and the wind is blowing them and I wanna take it so that the, A, the lighthouse is in focus, the grass is in focus, but also so there's no movement or as little movement as possible in the grass. Um, I suppose a little bit of movement would give it more of an effect, I don't know. But um, what I might do is do both and then see which one's the better one. But yeah, um, I'll take that, I'm gonna share those. I've taken a test shot, um, it looks all right, um, but I don't know. I don't know, you tell me guys. I've done it in portrait, no point doing it in landscape because there's nothing on either side of the lighthouse itself. Um, the moon is now to the right of um, the lighthouse and it's too far over to the right, I think, to incorporate it into the photograph. But yeah, it's, um, it's a decent photograph. It certainly isn't gonna make me millions, but it's a decent photograph. I, I wanted to try and you know bring this into the photograph because you know just sand, is, is just a bit boring really um, and, and unfortunately because we're now not going to get that sea come in yeah I'm looking for something else to, to fill that void between between where I am and the lighthouse itself um, I've done it so that there's a teeny weeny bit of of um, of sand so you can see it's on the beach um, the tide is I don't know it's probably 100 150 feet away from the lighthouse now um, so yeah Okay, I'll share that. Let me know what you think, guys. Thank you very much. Um, gonna move on, see what else I can capture around here. But um, it's primarily the reason why I'm here. The, the reason why I'm here today is for the sunset, and we're still gonna get that, obviously, but that's not for another eight hours. So um, we're gonna look at the ship. We're gonna try and get something to eat for lunch, um, and then come back. All right, talk to you in a bit. Thank you. So um, we've walked, well we went for lunch like I said we were going to do, we went for lunch, come back and we've driven um, back to where we were originally, picked up Stan's kit and we've now come to 
SS Nornan, we believe it is. Um, yeah, a little piece of wood, basically, but it's a shipwreck. Um, taken three photographs, used ND filters to try and smooth out the water a little bit more, though really it doesn't need it, and I've used a polarizer to take a bit of the shine off the water. Um, yeah, Stan is also doing the same thing. Um, so yeah, if you want to get a different perspective for photographs, you want to pop over and say hello to Stan and see his. And uh, wave, Stan. Wave, Stan. Wave. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're um, yeah, a bit of fun, bit of fun. I'm struggling a bit, if I'm honest, with my legs again, um, and limited to. What I can do, I can't get up the banks very well, etc. But yeah, we're doing all right, bit of fun. Um, yeah, so I'll share those photographs and uh, yeah, please let us know what you think. Speak to you in a bit. <laughs> okay, so um, we've walked a little bit away from the shipwreck and, and we've done it because um, there's a like a sheen running across this smooth part of sand that's to the right as you're looking at the boat and it's got this beautiful reflection of light um, I'm using the uh, 24 to 24 to 120 lens it's a new lens that I purchased recently I got rid of the 24 to 200 I really didn't like it um, so yeah I, I got the 24 to 120 to um, you know improve the quality of the photographs that are come in and, uh, and and I'm using it for this um, I'm doing them handheld now because I want to be able to circumnavigate the boat the only problem we've got is uh, if I show you if I just turn this around a minute all this sand here is like quicksand um, and <laughs> yeah we're sinking my feet are covered in mud um, and, and they're now wet but you know but it, it's stunning look look it's absolutely stunning um, but the boat is just over here so he's just here so I don't know if you can see that um, yeah um, so the boat is just here if I just turn it a little bit more you might see it better. I, I'm sorry, I can't see particularly well, but it's somewhere here over my right shoulder. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, I've gone round just to take photographs to include this lovely, lovely shine that's on the sand. Um, just, just lovely. Um, uh, yeah, originally I was doing it with the 14 to 24 mil. I'm on ISO 8. Um, no, I'm not. I'm on ISO 64. Um, uh, yeah, and they're, they're, they're reasonably quick shutter speed. So between 300, I think, and 500, um, 500th of a second. So, <coughs> yeah. So what I'll do is I'll start sharing all those. Um, or all these, should I say. And, um, yeah, do let us know what you think, guys. Um, yeah, really, 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 really nice lens. Um, and, a, you know, a better location than what we thought. We thought, you know, it's going to be a... We did know it was going to be a wreck, as in just sticks sticking up. But it, it's rather impressive, if I'm honest. Um, I think the, the conditions that we've got suit it. Um, it would have been nice with a bit of water, a bit more water around it. But, you know, we're not going to get that today, unfortunately. So, yeah. Okay. Um, talk to you in a bit. Okay, guys. So, yeah, we've pretty much done it. Um, we've... Um, photograph the shipwreck like I said we've pretty much walked all the way around it as much as we can you cannot get on the uh, left side um, at all it's just too sinking if I if I was to show you my shoes um, I don't know if I can do that but if I was to show you my shoes uh, you would understand why it is really really soft sand and uh, both Stan and I have sunk in fact I nearly lost my shoe at one point so yeah we, we avoided that we've walked on this harder sand from here and uh, tried to take photographs from here um, unfortunately the Sun is pointing straight at the camera so uh, we're pretty much restricted on what we can do uh, but yeah I've got some I've got some reasonable photographs um, I'm going to share those with you we're going back to um, the lighthouse um, we're going to get there for sunset I mean it's only three o'clock in the afternoon um, and sunset isn't until something like 8 p.m. tonight so um, yeah we have we have a bit of a wait so anyway but right, we'll talk to you later or oh, I'll talk to you later okay thank you see you in a bit so hopefully you can see me um, so we've walked back down um, and we've got this magnificent sky it's beautiful uh, blue and with with bits of cloud um, not quite 
not quite at the cloud that I wanted if I'm honest uh, but yeah I'm now uh, setting up the Z6 for a time lapse um, so what I did the other day was I purchased the 10 mil for the F mount so I'm using the 10 mil with the F mount and the FTZ um, now I was I used to do the time lapses with um, the 14 to 24 mil lens but I found that the quality although very good was probably too good for a time lapse because you don't really get that effect you know you don't get the best out of it so um, yeah I went for the 10 mil and, and, and I honestly didn't think that the 14 mil was quite wide enough <laughs> I say that I'll probably do this and this will be set up at 14 mil but um, yeah so this is the 10 to 20 mil lens for the F mount and on it is the FTZ like I said so um, yeah I'm gonna um, change the plate obviously so I can stick it on this Manfronto tripod um, and then we'll go from there so uh, what I want to do is I want to set the time lapse up so hopefully the um, time lapse or the sorry not the time lapse the sun sets directly behind the um, the lighthouse um, yeah so I'm gonna do it at f11 and we'll go from there so it's probably gonna be really really bright at the minute here we go so I'm currently off f8 so I'm gonna go f11 uh, I want the to be central so it's going to get darker so what I tend to do is I personally um, like um, it to be on a sunset one or two stops too bright so that when the sun sets it is about right as it sets so what I can do then is when it comes into editing I can start the time lapse where it looks better if that makes sense and um, that's how I do it I don't know how anybody else does it that's just the way I do it so I'm on ISO 800 I don't want that I want to get it down to ISO 100 <coughs> excuse me guys I don't know why I've started coughing so I'm going two stops over I'm focusing on that I want it to be level so I want to bring the display up and get the spirit level up here we go and there she is nice and level I'm now going to lock her off so now she can't move we'll make sure all that's locked so she now cannot move um, and now what I what I tend to do let me just do this yeah that's good um, what I now tend to do is go into the menu and do it from the menu so um, image quality is set to raw ISO sensitivity so somebody said to me set the ISO to um, automatic so I'm going to try that today um, I, I don't know if I'm for it but um, I'm going to I'm going to try that today and we'll see how that works um, so now what I'm doing is here we go come on where are you so I go into interval timer shooting I don't use the time-lapse movie although that's done on the Z the time-lapse movie you, you can't import it into anything to edit it as far as I know uh, everything I've tried it doesn't work um, so I tend to use the inter uh, the uh, interval shooting and then you just get loads of photographs and let me make sure that this card is clean yes it is go back into the menu interval shooting restart preparing so yeah we've now got a time-lapse going um, how many photographs I'm doing I've set it for uh, I think it's 99,000 or something so hopefully it'll just keep going
Um, the, the issue that I tend to have when I'm doing a time lapse is obviously I've got to leave the camera alone, so I go around now with the Z7 um, to take the photographs. So yeah, we have to keep an eye on this and also take photographs. So um, yeah, anyway, um, what we'll do is we'll leave it for, um, it's now half past six, so probably leave it for an hour, an hour and a half and let it take as many photographs as we can. Okay, thanks guys. Let's see how that works. So I, I need to tell you first, if I get distracted, my, my Z6 is way, way over there and it's doing a time-lapse. Um, and I keep looking over there because I'm checking that the Z6 isn't being nicked. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm doing um, two photographs, um, but each photograph has got four shots. I'm at ISO 64, um, F11, and it's an 80th of a second for each shot. Um, and I've done four photographs on each one, like I said. So I've photographed the stump, the center of the branch, uh, sorry, the center of the stump, the end of the branch, and then the lighthouse on each one. And the idea is, is that the grain of the branch is pointing us in the direction of the lighthouse. And then the branch, which is curving over, is pointing towards the lighthouse. Um, it looks fantastic. I have to say it looks fantastic. Um, the only thing I can say is that it probably isn't wide enough because it's not capturing the sun. So I'm going to do it. <clears throat> so this, these are portrait. I'm going to do them so that they're um, in landscape as well. So I can capture the sun as well. So, so I have moved. At last I've moved. Um, I did take another one. I took it from higher up and I did it again because um, the sun, which is now in glorious gold, is putting this magnificent sunlight onto the log, onto the sand, and obviously onto the lighthouse. So hopefully, hopefully we've got another really good photograph, but now I've moved because I've moved more to the right um, and I've come across this, the green here and it's just showing this or catching this glorious sunlight um, again across the sand, up to the sand, um, up to the sand castle, up to the lighthouse. Um, and the, the sun is, you know, slightly to the left. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be a good shot. So yeah, let's get on with it before it goes away. Um, yeah, I need, I want to make sure that I'm fully um, extended on this. Um, because I want to look down on this light. Okay, I didn't lock it. That's always a good start. Um, I think I need to give this a good clean later. Um, so yeah. Um, oh gosh, that is so good. That is so good. Um, so I need to make sure that, firstly, I'm I'm on the horizon line, which I am. Um, that is so good. So I'm going to focus first on the green. Now it's, if I take that down a bit, um, so I've got it F11 again, ISO 64. That's a 15th of a second. Now there is no wind. I don't feel any wind whatsoever. So hopefully it's not going to be blowing. Somebody's walking in front of the shot again. Now I'm going to exposure blend this. Um, I'm going to take a good shot of the gold, the gold light on the green, and then I'm going to do it again on the lighthouse, and then I'm going to blend the two together. Um, once these people are not in the shot, bless them. Um, <clears> that must be their worst nightmare. Photographers everywhere. And Steve and I, about, and they're what, we're about 20, 30 feet apart. So they're walking past with their dogs, and you've got people like me with a camera pointing at them. And there's more people coming from the left, so I need to get this done quick. So, once they're out of the shot, damn this, I mean, timer's gone off again. Two second timer, 
there we go now I need to change the exposure for the lighthouse focus on the lighthouse two second timer beautiful okay beautiful um yeah really good so uh, we've been cutting about a bit and we've well I've I keep saying we've that's including yourselves in the in the conversation I suppose but um, been cutting around on the beach getting photographs I've got a couple with starburst with the legs with the Sun between the legs um, and yeah we've got oh, I keep saying we but um, yeah I think I've got some crackers sorry I'm, I'm trying to capture more before the sun goes down and, and well it's pretty much gone to be fair but we're getting some fantastic light or colors in the clouds above um, and we've got some fantastic color on the horizon so orange on the horizon it looks awesome um, and I'm trying to capture as many as I can before it all disappears yeah so um yeah it's quite well it's quite good it's quite good um yeah the majority of the light's now gone unfortunately but yeah quite nice so let me just turn you around and then you can see behind me so um here we go let me just so uh, yeah this is what we've got so we've got this beautiful orange on here and then we've got the the color in the clouds so unfortunately the cloud is more above um, but yeah we've got some great or I've got some great shots um, yeah fantastic it's been a good night it's been a lot better than I thought it was going to be if I'm honest I did think it was going to be a bit of a flop for some whatever reason I don't know why um, I, I you know sorry I'm moving you around as I'm talking but <laughs> I, I wanted obviously water around the the pillars of the lighthouse itself and we we haven't got that and we're not going to get that um so that's potentially something to come back for in the future and if we were to come back you know and get those colors and that water around the stanchions then uh, yeah it would be magnificent but uh, you can only imagine i suppose so um what we're doing we are gonna F16 ISO 64, one thirteenth of a second, two second timer. Yeah, so I'm just trying to capture the last of the light. We've got some beautiful trails in the sky, but unfortunately the color's now gone um, in the clouds as well. But we've still got that orange or that gold um, on the horizon. Looks nice, I'll turn you around again. Sorry, nobody else does it like this, I bet. So yeah, so there you go. So as you can see, we've got these trails, we've got these dark clouds now, gold on the horizon, and then the lighthouse itself. Yeah, so um, yeah, we're pretty much done, I think. I'm pretty much done. What I wanna do, the, the, the time-lapse is still going, so I wanna pick you up and I'm gonna move. Um, so the time-lapse is still going. Um, there's not really, I want to go in closer as well actually there's not really many more that we can do um, the clouds are let me just put you down there the clouds um, are now catching some more of that residual light so let me just do that let me see if I can the, the only thing I'll say is that the lighthouse is going to be dark I don't know where my walking stick is I've put it there is um, yeah I want to move again come on come with me <laughs> so yeah I want to get some more from over here um, not that it's going to make that much difference but there's a bit of side light on the lighthouse um, to be fair I don't think I can really capture it let's get that two second timer there we go yeah i don't really think i can get much more i mean the gold is going all the way from let me show you again <coughs> so it's moving all the way look so let me just there we go 
all the way from around here, all the way across past the lighthouse. Um, so it might be a good idea to do um, a pano, but if you look behind me, um, the clouds here are red. Um, unfortunately, I can't cut that. Steve just walked in front of the shot, but we're still going to do a pano and we'll take him out in Photoshop. So um, yeah, I need to make sure that the tripod is level first. Um, something I normally do first, but um, because I was so busy doing the shot with the log, I didn't do it. Um, although the horizon line was straight. So um, yeah, I want to, I want to, there we go, she's straight and good. All right, so I get it straight and then I move it again. That'll let me turn you around so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna do a pano, um, as many photographs as it takes. So uh, first thing I wanna do is get the light right. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get anything to be honest because it's mostly gone. So I need to focus on the, the lighthouse. Okay, bring it around. Bring it around. Bring it around. And again. And again. This is where Steve is now in the shot. But we'll get rid of him. And again. And again. And one more. Okay. So, I don't know how many that was. Let's have a look, so, hold on. Let's play that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine photographs. So we've got a nine photo panner. Um, potentially should have done it a little bit sooner, but that's fine. Uh, my, I'm sorry about that. My battery died. Um, I've just changed it. Um, like I said, I'm gonna keep it rolling just so you can see what I'm doing. Um, and I'll, I'll just crop out the bits that, that we don't want. So yeah, we've, I've done a nine, nine photo pano. Um, I've taken loads of photographs with the sun as it's setting. Um, so we've got the sun setting between the pillars of the lighthouse. Um, and we've got this glorious, glorious gold sky. Um, let me just, just over here, look. Beautiful gold sky and I've been trying to capture that. Steve's doing the same. Um, but soon, 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 it will all be over and we will be off. So yeah, um, I'm trying to capture as much as I can. I've left my walking stick on the floor over there. Um, and my camera bag is now on the floor here. I've got the Z6 just behind you um, doing the time lapse, um, which is totally unsupervised. Uh, which I don't advise to anybody, but there you go. You don't get a time lapse if you don't if you don't leave your camera alone. I suppose the other way is just to sit by it, and then you can't do anything else. Look at that. So um, Stan is in my shot, but that's the way it is. I'm afraid. Um, he will be eliminated in Photoshop. So, um, yeah, so ISO 64 F13, quarter of a second. That should be fab, look at that. Um, time has gone off. Let's put him back on, there we go. Um, yeah, so two second timers back on. Um, I wanna go over there actually and get some from over there. I need to close up my bag and then put this back on. Sorry guys. I don't really want to leave all this camera kit lying around and I really need to go and get my walking stick. Um, right, turn this off. Battery's nearly flat on that. I'll turn this off, I'm back in a sec.
So we're going to walk over to the left of the lighthouse. Um, one of the things I hate is when people walk in front of the camera when a time lapse is running, um, and I'm just about to do that. But um, all the gold is now over behind the lighthouse, which is where I want to go. Um, oh, that is so gorgeous. Um, yeah, um, sorry, I'll cut out the bits that we don't want. So my walking stick is now by the Z6. So I'm just gonna struggle along, um, but I need to capture this. I really need to capture this if this gentleman gets out the shot. Okay, so let me check in the Z6 again. Let me put this down here like this. Sorry about this, unconventional I know. Um, so let's turn this back on. Oh, it's so good, guys, it's so good. Um, I need to zoom in more though, I think. Uh, it's not level. That's level. Okay, so I need to... Funny, it doesn't look anything like what it does. So I'm at F13, ISO 64, one fifth of a second, two second timer. I know it wasn't a two second timer. Let's turn that back on. Okay, so two second timer. There we go. Fab. Absolutely wonderful. Um, yeah, it looks great. It looks great. All the gold is at the bottom. Um, so all the gold look is now on the bottom down here. Um, we're starting to get a bit of colour in the sky, but yeah, unfortunately it's the last of the light. So we're, we are pretty much done, if I'm honest. Um, but we'll just keep going until, you know, it's gone. Oh gosh, sorry. Um, I don't think I've been this close to that. Oh, my leg. I don't think I've been this close to the lighthouse all day. Um, because there's been this ground has been so wet as we've so I'm let it put you down and I'll start that again so yeah I've, I've not been this close to the lighthouse um, as the, this ground here was so wet um, that um, you know we I just couldn't I just couldn't get anywhere near it so I am at ISO 64, F13, two and a half seconds. Wow. Two fifths of a second, maybe. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm, I need to wear my reading glasses. Um, turn that off. Must remember to put the timer back on. So. What I'm trying not to do is get in Steve's way, but I think Steve is actually taking photographs facing away from the lighthouse. He's, he's done with the lighthouse, I think. Um, whereas I've not. So um, yeah, I'm just getting closer, as close as I can. Turn this back on. And I'm gonna put the timer straight back on because I seem to be forgetting. Um, Okay, so that's that. I'll come out a bit. Yeah, we're, we're uh, F16, ISO 64, 1.6 seconds. So focusing on the lighthouse again, leave her alone, two second timer. So what I might do is now photo stack. Um, what am I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about sometimes because I get so carried away with things. There we go. Okay. Okay, so the time has gone off again, guys. Um, one thing I keep saying about um, the F, the, the Z cameras, if you don't use um, the, the, the timer for a period of time, it, it automatically turns off. So what I wanna do, 
let's get this back up I want to do bracketing and I want to do uh, I think five's too many I'm going to do three so here we go Okay, so hopefully, yeah, that's pretty good. If I, if I do it as five, actually, I might get a little bit of a better result. So if I, hello, five, that's it, do it again. There we go, Let's try that. Now yeah, we'll just combine them all in Photoshop and we should get some, a really good photo. Let's have a look. Yeah, so the lighthouse looks good. Yeah, it looks good, that looks good, okay. Yeah, so, okay. So I'm not going to vlog anymore, guys. I think, I think this is time to stop because it's getting pretty damn dark um, and the Z6 will be finished with the time lapse um, and as it's so dark now we're pretty much done here so I'm gonna say goodbye um, and we'll see you next time don't forget guys please it means a lot thumbs up subscribe to the channel and um, yeah hit that notification bell if you want to see any more from me anyway thanks guys I'll speak to you again soon